talk uh, just opening talk a little bit about uh, what your experiences were like with the GB under 20s uh, two years ago now was it 2012 yeah I mean I think uh, it was an experience for a learning experience for both groups I mean I, I think I came from a an environment, a culture that's a little different than, than like from a basketball perspective than a lot of places and, and certainly a little bit different than, than uh, what they were used to and I think that's part of the reason they asked me to come in and I, I thought there were a lot of positives that, that came out of it. I mean, there, there, there are some, uh, some struggles and we, we lost a tough game to, to uh, Finland that, that really kind of made the summer a little more disappointing than it really needed to be, considering that you know we beat we beat the team that won the won the tournament. We the guys, you know, the guys worked pretty hard defensively. I mean, we we we, we did. Looking back, we we had some struggles in terms of sharing the basketball, things like that. But but that's part of summer basketball. But I thought they worked pretty hard at the defensive end generally, and and. You know, the, the games we won, the tough games we won, we came back to win them and we fought for, for four quarters. So, I, I, again, I, there, I, I don't want to pretend that everything was great because the, the, that Finland game was a real disappointment. I mean, it was tough because we had, we had it in somewhat under control and then, then kind of gave it away at the end. And, and, uh, but, but overall, until that, we, things, things were somewhat coming together. I just think after, with that game, it's kind of showed just how sort of fragile the, the, the situation was. And I, I think over time, it, it could have worked out. My, fortunately or unfortunately, I was uh, asked to be Jay Triano's assistant on the senior men's team in Canada. And obviously from a, from a family standpoint with two young kids, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to stay, stay at home and, uh, and coach our senior team. Um, what, what would you say about the level of British talent? I mean, did you? Ex I mean, what were your expectations going in, and how did your expectations meet the, the reality? I, I didn't have any real expectations. I mean, I, I, I think uh, I think there's some there's some talent guys. I mean, obviously, uh, De Devin, Devin's a, a heck of a talent, and uh, you know, as as he gets older and more mature in the game, I, I think he could be really special. I mean, he, he he's got a he's got a competitiveness in him. I mean, he, he he's he's got a I mean, or at the time, he had he didn't have the greatest reputation, and and we had our our differences. I like him. I've always I, I liked him the entire time, even though we had our fights. Just because all of our fights were because he's such a competitive kid. You know, I mean, a lot of his his mistakes at that time were just being being too competitive and and not not necessarily doing the right thing, but but for the right reasons. I mean, he, it wasn't like he wasn't competing. It wasn't like he wasn't trying. He. He, he wanted to win and he, he was trying as hard as he could to win and you know I think once he, he gets older and matures and I'm sure he has I've, I've followed him a little bit in the last two years I'm sure he has to a certain degree I mean I, I think because of his competitive level and, and the fact that he has a great deal of talent he, he's got a chance to be really special and, and you know I, I think we have some other guys who who, who Ali I, I really enjoyed coaching Ali and and you know some of the other guys, the talent level wasn't that high, but but they tried to buy in and do the things that they they could do to help the team. I, I think there is a real gap, you know, between our sort of top two or three guys and and, uh, and the next group. But uh, I think in general they, they tried to do the things that they they uh, were asked to do. I, I think because of that gap, we had some trust issues at the offensive end. You know, like in terms of moving the ball as much as we maybe could have. And then, uh, what was it like working with British basketball as an organisation? Some people say they're not the most organised uh, or efficient. Did you, what were your experiences of that? Ah, uh, I mean, I don't think they like working with me. So, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I mean, in, in fairness, I kind of stayed out of the. I stayed out of the way. I tried to coach the team, and, and really, I mean, for me to say anything one way or the other, um, did, did they? Did they support me? No. Did they not support me? No. They, they, I mean, I kind of stayed out of their way. They stayed out of my way. I, I don't have a whole lot of complaints. I, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't endorse it, and I wouldn't complain. I mean, if you want the absolute truth, I, I really just wasn't involved with the, the administration enough to, to have a have a true comment on on uh, what they're like in administratively.